<laughs> oh, yeah. It's a welcome I extend today. I invite you all to come and dine with me. Without any more delay, we'll get our evening upon its way. May God... But Jack the Cat is well on his way to finishing the canapes. And things are about to go from bad to worse. Accident number two. Luckily for the awaiting diners, he decides to make some fresh canapes. I'm readdressing the situation that you see before you. So he had to do a quick repair. I do apologise, ladies and oh, gentlemen, for the slight delay. No, but the problem. cat, no, cat thought it was his turn to come and dine with me. Oh, you're right. And not you, so he had the first take. Well, they do say that honesty is the best policy. I kept thinking, don't think about it, don't think about it. Honestly, don't even taste it. Don't think about it. But honestly, every time I looked at them, they looked at me chewed. And it wasn't much left anyway. When Adrian mentioned that his cat had got hold of the salmon, admittedly, I did check the salmon for any cat hair, teeth marks, claw marks. <laughs> oh, ooh, Sarah, compose yourself. Two days to go <laughs> to my party. <laughs> She's such a character, she can't take a drink. <laughs> and by dessert, it was all over. To uh, China. China. To China. Oh, China. China. Hello. Hello, how are you? Georgina. Come in. You're the veggie? I'm the vegetarian. Right, OK, yeah, fine. Um, I tend to eat quite healthy Do you? meats as well. Yeah, I'm right, not into it. Okay. Um... I'm strictly carnivorous Georgina, which means that, obviously, I just eat meat the whole, you know, pretty much the whole time, really. Mm. This doesn't bode well. And when it came to Christian's choice of starter... These are great. OK, but I can't comment on that. But it looks all right, but I don't really care. And that attitude didn't really wash with the veggie. Does anybody want my tomatoes? Don't you like tomatoes? The vegetarian ones, so they should be all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, maybe it's because it's beef tomato and you think she's having a bit of meat. <laughs> yeah. Is that all you're eating? Yes. You'd be cheap to take out, wouldn't you? It's a bit harsh. <laughs> yeah. So what do we drink? Mind you... Well, I'm cheap to take <laughs> out, man. I mean, all you want is a bit of lettuce and a bit of cheese, and you'll be fine. <laughs> no, you think I want lettuce and cheese, obviously, with the starter. <laughs> I did wonder what to expect, actually. Did you? Yeah. You got beans on toast next? I don't like beans. Christ almighty, you don't like a lot, do you? The dynamic at the table is just... I feel it's already been set. I think Christian and Georgina are like... Christian's hosting didn't get any better when it came to the main. She probably doesn't like... Does she like cheese or not? I don't really care if she likes cheese or she doesn't. She won't if it's not vegetarian, Parmesan. There's your vegetarian pasta bake. Thank you. OK, that with Parmesan. That, that looks um, lovely. There you are. Like <laughs> Thank you very much, That's Christian. for you, and you've obviously you've got your sauce. OK. OK, that's great. I'll just get mine. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm sorry to be a pain, Christian. Yeah, well, you are. Go on, carry away. But... Parmesan isn't suitable for vegetarians. Is it not? Well, do you want me to take it back and dish you up some without any of the Parmesan? Do you mind? No, that not at all. That would be great. No, Thank that's you. fine. Thank you. The, Sorry uh... to be a pain. No, that's all right. I'm used to it. Don't worry. Yeah. Have a sec. Thank you. For Christ's sake, what does the bloody girl want? Maybe I should give her a bit more. Maybe I should put some bloody meat on it as well for her. No, oh, the perfect host. It is all a new one. There you go. Thank you very much. I don't much. think you'll find any Thank Parmesan you. in that whatsoever. OK. Oh, I think she spotted some. Please start. I'm coming in now. Please start. Don't really go... Everyone far. feeling comfortable? Yeah, help yourself yeah, to yeah, some yeah, mushroom yeah. sauce. Is your pasta nice? I'm not going to eat it. Do you want some roast potatoes? Probably not, potatoes. as they've been cooked in goose fat. Please, please. Oh, Thank you. Whatever you want, I think. I'm not a big eater, like, to be honest. I can wash my fingers out of the candle. Uh-oh. Have some carrots, whatever you want. Thank you. Paul. You enjoying your meal, Jen? Yes, I, I'm absolutely loving this beef. This is... My type of food. No! Oh dear, too late. Just slice the mushrooms, a little bit of butter, some cream, a bit of soya sauce, just mixed up and everything. It tastes good. Yeah, Super. It's good, yeah. Glad yeah. you like it. You can what come about, again, Paul. What about the potatoes? You're <laughs> oh, yeah. sorry, Jenny. Sorry. What? The potatoes? Potatoes just parboiled and cooked in goose fat. Oh, 
In the, in the <laughs> oven. I think the pennies dropped. Why didn't you tell me that they were cooked in goose fat before I, I ate them? That's why I didn't give you any potatoes. You know, if you want to go hungry, go hungry. I don't really care. Oh, that's another point gone. You're getting right on my wick, to be honest, and I think that you've been very rude, you haven't enjoyed anything, you're too fussy to please, and, to be honest, I couldn't care less whether you ate it or you didn't eat it. Mm. Well, this beef's lovely. Sausages don't get enough credit because they're the only food that you can have all throughout the day. You can have them for your breakfast, you can have them for your dinner, you can even pop them in a trifle. You could. Doesn't mean you should, though. So we're going to do a layer of blancmange, a layer of custard, a layer of sausages, layer of custard, cream, and then serve. Yes, she really is serving sausage in a trifle. These are trifleicious. No, nope, they're sausages. And I would actually bet all the diners five whole pounds that they've never had a sausage trifle before. That's a tidy little five, ten, fifteen, twenty pound I've made already. On top of my thousand pound prize. You've got to love a trier. We all eat with our eyes. Therefore, if it looks good, we've won half the battle. Annie Rose, I think you might need to bring in reinforcements. Oh, my God, this looks gorgeous. I think you need your eyes tested. Magic <laughs> Laura. And when she dished up, her guests couldn't quite believe it. <laughs> it's got sausages in it! <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> Don't eat all your mouth. Do <laughs> <laughs> more with Joe. <laughs> oh. Joe's for love. Bear with me. I'll get her up again. Come on, Dave. <laughs> oh, and then Chris is down. I'm up. Down, down. Oh. Two, <laughs> three, three, you're out of there. Taxes. Trifle's pretty bad at the best of times. It's even worse with sausages. Um, great idea, made everybody laugh. 10 out of 10 for that, but uh, I'll definitely never be eating sausage trifle ever again. Right, welcome to the lamb. <laughs> no, hang on a minute. That's cooked. No, no it's not. not. It's just blood no. coming in. Oh, no. Oh, that looks great. Fine. That looks great. No, it's not cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm making it. Is it not yeah. good? Oh, God! Oh, that's the old... Try a bit. How about we fry it? Cut pieces and fry I it. I think it'll... I'm losing the will to live. I'm going to cry. Oh, fried lamb? <laughs> oh, well, In a desperate attempt to eat something, Linda proceeds to slice the least raw bits of lamb ready to grill them. Where's the foil? In the foil ready. Doc, I don't know where the foil is. Where's the foil? This cling film any good? No. <laughs> Where's the baking tray? Anyway, well, you seem to have an array of scone trays. A scone tray. Ah. <laughs> ah. This is hot. Rodney and Linda, will you? Yeah, I'm well, gonna, I've got to have a drink. Okay, go on. Go. This could be a long night. The meat is raw. Leslie came last, but she got a chance to redeem herself on our Return of the Worst Celebrity Special. This time adopting a more hands-on approach. I did not think I, when I woke up this morning that I would be actually massaging a duck. It feels horrible. But uh, anything that makes a good meal, and we know uh, I'm hoping to do a good meal tonight. But amazingly, it seemed to pay off. Right, I'm going to try some oh, heart in hand. Oh, bloody hell. She's actually quite nice. By the time dessert was served, she was on a roll. Bon appétit, mm. everyone. Bon appétit. Oh, superb. I think everyone likes it, Leslie. Amazing. Is that it? is really nice. That is really nice. Well, I think I might cry. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Sweetheart. I don't normally like pavlova. This is beautiful. I've never made a Oh, blimey, she really is off. Oh, no, give her a kiss. <laughs> she was delighted, rather bizarrely, that it tasted so delicious. I don't know whether she was just so relieved it was over or was the Pavlova speaking to her. But Leslie's Titanic theme didn't go down quite as well. Oh, OK, ladies and gentlemen, oh. stay there for a minute. Be careful. I think there's a glass gone. There's more than a glass gone. Would you please? Oh, no. Women and comedians. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's you last then, Bobby. Oh, come to my captain's oh. So, after all her efforts... Second... Tamara... Oh. She managed to put her disastrous maiden voyage behind her. I am thrilled that I turned my house into the HMS Titanic, sunk the ship, but I won the week. So, Leslie and her kitchen finally worked out their differences. Oh!